What happened to shared channel? Your girl is about to spill some piping hot tea. I feel so exposed with this much of my belly button showing. <sighs> decision that I will be doing a weekly vlog. I'm a vlogger now. <laughs> For the rest of the year. Why you ask? I honestly don't know, but I kind of feel like I want to share more of our wildlife with you guys. So if you caught last week's video, you know that we wrapped things up with the hurricane wedding. We were able to make it back to Phoenix to finish a home renovation that we've been doing for the last few months. It's called Grandma's House. I can't even believe I'm saying this, but welcome to day 93 on Grandma's House. It just feels like it's a place Grandma would have lived in. So yeah, that's what we're doing for the next few days. Please pray for us, even though we're in the past and you're in the future. Speaking of the past and the future, I had to jump in really quick. Obviously, I'm in the future. This video is in the past. Like I said last week when I did my very first vlog, which by the way, you guys, I was blown away by the response. I had no idea so many of you would care so much and it means so much to me But I told you that I'm doing these vlogs so that we can get to know each other better I wanted to hold up my end of the bargain and that is why we are here One of the questions that I received more than any other question was what happened with shared channel? What happened with shared media? So you know what? I'm here to rip the band-aid take a seat your girl is about to spill some piping hot tea What happened to shared channel? <laughs> Honestly, it's like the least dramatic thing of all time. As you guys know, Lily and I are still very close friends. I'm also still very close with our other business partner, George, who was one of the other original founders of Clever. We were in his garage when we started that company. We started Shared in technically June of 2019 and things were going amazing. We had a really awesome office, although let's be real, the lease there was very expensive. It was awesome though and we were doing pretty well. So things were going, things were really going even better then according to plan. We started our Patreon and then about eight months into Shared, that is when COVID hit. And we, like all of you, were just kind of left with, okay, what are we supposed to do? And of course, especially honestly for like the first year, we really couldn't be filming videos in person, be together in person. That's when Lily and I decided to officially launch the Overshare podcast, which we did for many, many episodes and throughout pretty much the entire course of the pandemic. And then that just kind of naturally came to an end and by that point honestly we still didn't know when we were going to be able to go back into a studio because the pandemic here in LA went on for I mean for years honestly and by this point Lily and I were both kind of eager and interested in doing some different things I had started renovating houses I was traveling back and forth to Arizona and you guys know me like I'm the kind of person who's always on the go always doing the most honestly probably doing way too much and Lily was at a place where I mean I can't speak for her but I feel like she wanted a more like take a beat and figure out what she wanted to do next and I fully supported that so we decided to just take a very non-dramatic break from shared channel the shared news channel is still going still going strong we're both still technically part owners of shared media and I actually recently had some chats with George our other business partner about what it would look like to kind of revive that channel in a new way not necessarily with Lily and I in every single video or maybe not even in any videos. The whole purpose of that channel was initially to share it with other people, help other people learn more about content, content creating, and hopefully help to launch some people's careers. So all that to say, Lily has gone on to launch a podcast with Jesse. We love Jesse, Jesse Smiles. I'm gonna link to it here. You guys should go take a listen. As you guys know, we are still the closest of friends. I love her so much, and I'm always gonna support her, even on all the projects that I have nothing to do with. So that's what happened with Shared Channel. It is sunsetted. It's not dead forever. It may come back. I don't know. Also, oh my gosh, you guys, this is so disgusting. I don't even know if I should show you this. This is my toenail. That's a story for another time. <laughs> and with that, back to the video. And if you like what you're seeing, smash the like button, subscribe, leave a comment. <laughs> Maybe I'm gonna watch this video and realize I need to retire. I don't know, I'm not sure. Anyways, let's go. 
going to pick up a U-Haul because that's part of our lives. They're picking up some staging furniture that my stepmom is letting us use, which is super cool. We gotta get you more coffee because you're like, you just do that like a few times a day. Obviously. I know what my wife likes. Yes. There is so much stuff in here. What? Oh my gosh. What the actual, oh. Hi. Check it out, a full U-Haul. Wow. Shout out to Chris's stepmom. This is very generous. He said saving us like $4,000. We have officially unloaded all of the furniture from the U-Haul. Things are really coming together. This is the primary bedroom, which is kind of cool because it has outdoor access. And then also it has a whole separate room. That's like a sitting room slash like dressers, clothes, whatever, vanity room and a walk-in closet and its own bathroom. Look at the living room, guys. Tony, what did you just say? Oh yeah, you guys don't make everything difficult, man. I want to hang this. Sideways. Well, you know, Do you know how stunning it's going it's to be? Stunning. We call this house Grandma's House, and then I started receiving messages from a young woman who lives here in Phoenix who's like, You're calling that house Grandma's House? Good She's day. like, That's my Grandma's House. Yep. Ah! Anyways, we gotta get back to work. Do but it. this is looking really good. I'm sad it doesn't still smell like books because that was like my favorite thing. Now it's new house smell. Interesting. Well, I'll buy you a new book okay, so you can sniff you. it. Good morning. We're still here in Arizona and I'm still wearing the same outfit because like I mentioned, we were just stranded in Mexico for a long time and I have no clean clothes. So this is quite literally all I have, but I just hit up one of my favorite Pilates and bar studios in Phoenix. I try to always like work out as much as I can when we're here renovating houses, just because do you think I'm a nicer person when I exercise? Yeah. The reason I'm able to work out when we're traveling in different cities, especially like going to classes is because y'all, I have been on ClassPass since they literally launched that app. I'm probably one of the first five people to sign up. And what's cool about it, also not spawn, but please spawn me, is the fact that you can just like change your location and go work out anywhere. It's freaking amazing. You are happier, it's yeah. worth it. Like definitely, Sometimes I'll be in like a little mood and Chris will be like, oh, a few exercise. Definitely nothing to do with my bod, okay? Only to do with my bad attitude. <laughs> We're leaving Arizona later this afternoon, but we still have a lot to achieve today. We have to finish staging the house. We're also gonna go look at a new place that we're gonna start renovating with one of Chris's brothers. Enough of me talking, let's just continue. Oh my goodness, today has been such a productive day. You're getting a little sneak peek at the house. White on white with gold and a little blue door. It looks so, so good, but we didn't have time to film all the afters because we have to go catch our flight home. <laughs> but because I love you guys and you're my peeps, here's a little sneaky peeky of the kitchen. Also, wait, before I do that, here's what it looked like before. And here's what it looks like now. I've been doing this vlogging thing, but I realized I haven't vlogged at all today, but something big is happening. First off, joined by Judy. And what are we currently doing? I have Marcel here, a fish that I have to very gingerly transport to its new home. Is it Marcel or Marceau? I it's think it's line. Marcel. So my brother's moving, my brother and his wife and their baby are moving and we have been charged with perhaps the most important job, which is transporting the fish. We got you, buddy. You guys, I have to show you my mom. <laughs> She's actually lost it. So my mom will never buy anything full price ever. She just bought her first full price dress and how much was it? Well, I think it was $75. <laughs> Don't tell anybody. <laughs> the other thing I want to say is she's not been drinking <laughs> at all. Well, water. I have to stay hydrated right here. Look. And the fish survived the ride. <laughs> we'll see. 
Okay, y'all, it has been a day of it, an absolute day of it. It's not over, it's Friday. It's Friday, which is our date night. We usually try to do something, just the two of us on Fridays. She's leaving me. But I'm going to an event, and I would only go to an event on a Friday night evening. It's like four o'clock for someone I truly and deeply love. I'm going to Susan Yara, a little Naturium event. You guys know her from Mixed Makeup. She's like one of my oldest friends on YouTube. So proud of her for casually selling her company for 300 and $55 million. I mean, she's basically like my role model at That's this a point. Cool, a cool 350. She works so hard. Speaking of working hard, what is that? The devil works harder, hard, we work harder or something. So we listed the house <laughs> no, today. I, what you're talking about. I, like that I am delirious. We listed the house today, the house that we were just at one day ago. I think it's gonna sell. I'm really hopeful. How do you feel? I I always am, what, what's that phrase like optimist, like skeptic? I don't even know. Skeptimistic? Like, yeah. Like, yep. I'm, I'm skeptical until the deal's done because yeah. it's always you just never know but I feel good I feel good too we have our first showing tomorrow morning so first day on market showing tomorrow so we'll see what happens and here's the thing I want to say about the homes that we renovate I know that a lot of people have had experiences with buying remodeled houses that are quite literally in shambles like some of the houses we walk through that people have remodeled I'm like what's going on we would never sell a house that we would not love to live in this house is like 10 times bigger than our condo I know I'm gonna put the link here if it's still on the market. I'm gonna put a link in the info section so like y'all can buy it. Okay. Anyways, I have to finish getting ready. Okay, see you okay. later. Okay, I'm ready to go. My car is picking me up in like, I don't know, a few minutes. And guess what y'all, as an outfit repeater at my court, I can honestly say I have been wearing this court and top satin situation set from Show Me Your Moo Moo. <laughs> like it's what I live in now. Along with my favorite shoe of the season, the loafer. Mine are not Gooch, mine are from Amazon and I'm very proud of it. But I love this outfit it's kind of perfect because in LA right now it's still still sort of hot okay time to go but wait does anyone else just like fully 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 trash their house before they leave actually this is not bad at all oh and I forgot to show you guys these these are the brand new lip balms from Naturium this is the color I'm wearing I buy these for everyone if you are sleeping on these lip balms which now come in all these new colors they also come in brighter colors do yourself a favor also what is going on here. Excuse me, look what I just got home to. What is going on in here? I'm doing crazy things. Look at look at that. Is this homie pasta? Yep, flour straight from Italy. What? It's true. Well, I want to marry you. <laughs> Can we get married? Morning. Okay, if there's one thing you need to know about us, we love a walk. We love taking a walk. It's Saturday morning. LA is effing chill. No one is out at all. Weather is impeccable. And fun fact, Chris and I are both wearing my clothing. So here's what I'm wearing on our walk. And then babe, okay. Today we are helping to host some of our friends gender reveal, which very excited about. Also, I totally think it's a girl. You? Yeah. Definitely think it's a girl. If I'm wrong, what should I do? Sue me. Sue me, okay, if I'm wrong. On our way out to the valley to the gender reveal and our car is full of supplies. We have two ice chests, a table, folding chairs, a cupcake stand. We could, be, we could like start a business for hire. Picnic stuff for tables and chairs. Oh, totally. Like picnic just collective. In a Prius all day. That's the crazy thing. So you guys know I've had this Prius like since the dark ages. I never plan to get rid of it because gas in Los Angeles is $3,000 a gallon and this car is basically free. We're just saying more stuff fits in the back of the Prius, like any hatchback, than most SUVs. That's true. I'm still laughing at Picnic Collective as our next business. That's that, a good name, babe. Thanks for coming up with that. I'm going to do the website later. It's already a business, babe. Call Picnic Collective. Oh, okay. I thought you just came up with it on the spot. Monday, it is time for a fresh start. All things are possible on a Monday. I mean, honestly, I'm really just telling myself that because I'm not a Monday girl at all. I figured like what better way to start the week than doing some juicing. I got this little baby, look at how cute it is. I bought this little baby juicer on like one of the last Amazon Prime days. I used to have like a legit juicer, but do you see the size of this kitchen? Where the hell is a juicer gonna go? So I got this little teeny tiny one. It just does like one cup at a time. And I think this is a masticating, which sounds similar to a, a different word. <laughs> 
Do you guys even know what that means? It squishes the fruits and vegetables that you're making juice out of, and I think more nutrients come out. Honestly, I have no idea what I'm talking about in case you can't tell. I did go to Sprouts this morning. I stocked up on, ooh, a bunch of celery, cucumber, and I also got some ginger. I'm just gonna make a bunch of juice right now because my juice habit a few years ago used to be like really out of hand and I was buying it. We're talking like, I don't want Christmas. We're talking like 50 bucks a pop. I'm not about that life anymore. So anyways, let's make some juice. Here we go. Here is our lineup of juices for the week. And as you can see, we got a pickle jar here. Not sure what that is. This was avocado mayo. And this is of course, paste picante. So I'm imagining that these are gonna be carrying some of the flavors, but honestly, I don't care. Now we have a huge mess. I hate food waste. I won't do it. I can't do it. I have a huge freezer game. I'm constantly putting stuff from the fridge into the freezer so that it doesn't go bad. Like I hate wasting food. I'm like one of those grandmas who like lived through the great depression or something. See these little celery stock leftovers, right? here. I am going to use those and these right here. Chop these up for some soup because why waste, right? Am I hosting a cooking show now? Because honestly, that is kind of my dream. Just going to add some olive oil. And then can I just quickly talk about my new set of pans from Caraway? Have you ever seen anything that inspires you more to cook? This terracotta color is bringing me life. And also these pans are amazing. Don't sleep on these because they're so freaking easy to clean and nothing sticks to them. What the heck? I realized I never tried the juice. Don't look at my nails. They look terrifying. But this is celery, ginger, and cucumber. Oh, <laughs> a lot of ginger. <sighs> Pretty sure this is killing everything inside my body. I'm not mad about it, honestly. Good morning. Okay, I'm not even gonna try to front. I am so excited. Right now I'm headed to the Aloe Gym. You guys have probably seen it, like Aloe, the clothing brand. I'm wearing one of their jackets right now. So they have a gym in LA and I've been dying to go there because it just looks so cool. One of my favorite people on earth, Laura Quinn is one of the Pilates instructors there. And we've been friends forever. You guys, you guys remember when back at Clever TV, not even Clever, but like Clever TV days, we had a dance show called, what's that show called? Breakdown. <laughs> Today on Breakdown, it's girls only. I was the host and producer, and I was told that I needed to hire a bunch of professional dancers for the show. Somehow, Laura Quinn did the show, professional dancer. Oh, and LOL. <laughs> did I mention I'm not even going to take Pilates? I'm going to a ballet class, which I haven't done ballet, I mean, a few decades, probably. So like equal parts excited, mostly nervous, mostly scared. What's gonna happen to me? I'm mostly just excited to see Laura, so. Off to Beverly Hills we go. just casually having my like 75th cup of coffee. Can I just say that was so fun. First off, the Aloe Gym or whatever you call it is, I'm not cool enough to be there. That place was really awesome. And guess what? They gave me a bag of clothes as if I'm one of the real celebrities that works out at this place. Everyone there was so, so friendly and nice, by the way. This cute little Aloe sports bra and these pants, which I don't know, maybe I'll wear these tomorrow. But I realized when I came home, that I've had this box from Amazon full of like fall and winter clothes that I ordered like a month ago. And now I'm realizing I haven't tried any of this stuff on and I don't know if it fits. And if I don't return it by tomorrow, I can't return it. So I'm gonna try it on for you guys. We'll decide what we like, what we're keeping, what we're not keeping. And of course, you probably already know this. I'm gonna link to everything from any of these vlogs that I'm doing. I also have an Amazon storefront. I think I put a lot of this stuff on my fall idea list. So it should already all be there, but ooh, also, this little situation is also from Amazon. Love it for working out, but also just like love this for life. But I had it on today with my leg warmers. I'm gonna be so sore tomorrow. <laughs> First, this is the viral coat. You guys have seen this on Amazon. It's from Orale. I'm definitely keeping this. It's worth the hype. Do any of you guys have an Orale coat yet? Because this is my third one and I definitely recommend. For funsies, here's one of the other Orale coats I have. 
Obviously you can move in it. Really, really loving these. Kind of like the Uggs, but at a much more affordable price. I feel like I would wear these literally every day. Super into these really sculptural earrings that are definitely on trend. This came in a two pack, by the way. Gold and silver. Silver's making a comeback. Is anyone else excited about this or just me? Definitely feeling this jacket. I honestly almost wish it was even a little bit bigger, but how cute would this be to go work out, like take a walk? I think this is a key. What do we think? I'll wear this so much. This is really wrinkly. Having a white shirt like this is something I feel like everyone should just probably have. I would honestly get this in a bigger size and even wear it as like a beach cover up. What I'm super into at the moment, which I can't believe I'm saying this, something like this with a vest that you could wear as like a mini dress or with jeans underneath. How much do we love this? Let's put it on with some jeans. These are the Levi's ribcage jeans. These are probably gonna be on sale too. I bet, I feel like Levi's always goes on sale during the holidays. But I still have my outfit on underneath. I'm not sure if this denim look is for me, but I will say very comfortable. The other thing I'm obsessed with has made a comeback, gorgeous. Like this looks like truly the shortest skirt of all time. Ooh, I kind of even like it with this. But when you find out that it's short, this is totally acceptable. Ooh, I actually have some loafers. Can you even believe, look at these. I got these on Amazon. I would not wear them probably with the black socks I have on currently. I've usually been wearing them with cute little white socks. I think you can get the idea. I'm like serving professor vibes. Like maybe, dare I say, wanna be hot professor vibes? Another huge trend, which you guys, so much of this stuff is so funny because I used to wear this exact same stuff when I was in high school in the 90s or maybe college. This skirt, I definitely had, but I would probably do this with like a knee high boot. I feel like a little, like I'm on the prairie with a little like Duggar vibes, which Duggars do you boo, but I'm just, I'm a Davis, not a Duggar, you know? And if there's one thing you guys probably know about me when it comes to fashion, the girl loves this set. Thank you so much fashion people for just making it easy peasy for us. And what I like about this one, what the heck? It's wrinkly, but if you steam this, are you kidding me? This is boss babe mentality. I love this olive green. I also like that you could totally wear it as like separate. And this loose fit, God bless the freaking fashion people for making loose clothes trendy again. I mean, I'm still fighting with you because of low rise jeans, but like it is what it is. This is 100% your look, Connie baby. Speaking of set, I kind of planned to try this on last just because I knew I wasn't gonna want to take it off. This is like a high end, like almost cashmere, but not cashmere price set that's basically a sweater and sweater pant in this camel color, which makes it feel elevated and regal and quiet girl, luxury, rich girl, whatever the hell the people are saying. Honestly, I can't keep up with all of it. Oh, to have this on inside out, that would truck. There's the tag. Amazon gets a slow, actually a fast clap for me. Doing the Lord's work. Oh, oh, I didn't even show you guys these. Look at these earrings. I meant to take these to Mexico, dang it. Pearls, $5. And then you can wear them this way or that way. Winter white. Cute little bag, affordable little bag, shoulder bag, and it comes with a crossbody strap. Definitely keeping this. I'm very into the winter white. With this coat, you guys, I am such a fashion influencer. Fashion influencer. It's been a very chaotic day and we are kicking off the weekend right now going to probably our favorite artist, Andy Grammer. He means so much to us. His song, You and Me Will Be Always, was our wedding song. Anyways, this is all a distraction. The reason I'm sharing this is because I'm trying to get ready right now. Can't even talk. What of the 1996 am I wearing? By the way, this robot vacuum, it's so loud. What do you think about this outfit? This is what I would wear in high school. Even the loafers. I think a rollerblader is what you look like. If I put on rollerblades, will you take me to Venice Beach yes, right now? Yes, put on blades. I just need my Walkman. But this is what the kids wear now. Is it really? Am I allowed to wear this? I don't even know. Throw I'm back like... from 30 years ago. I mean, everything's cyclical in fashion. Okay, everything is cyclical in fashion. But here's my question. I feel so exposed with this much of my belly button showing. I don't mind a midriff, and I don't even care about these rules of how you're supposed to dress in your 30s, your 40s. That's all bullshit to me, okay? But showing this much belly button makes me feel too exposed. Like people can see my innermost self. That makes sense. Belly button is the window to your soul. We've all been saying this for years. True, true. It feels like a lot. <laughs> Your call. Ugh. This is what I'm gonna wear to the concert. I feel like it's a happy medium. These jeans that are covering at least 60% square footage of my belly button. It reminds me of Kyle XY. You remember Kyle XY? Yeah, but I don't know the theme He didn't at even all. have a belly button. I've been, I've talked about myself too much. Let's go. Church. A 
actually I look better than I thought I would I look okay but guess what y'all I'm just here to say we made it we made it to church for the record or whoever's listening god does not care what you're wearing okay that's my personal opinion we're here we showed up mm. and with that my friends that brings this highly chaotic wild week in our life to an end smash the like button leave a comment let us know what you want to see next week do you have any feedback for the people no i'm ready to sleep again <laughs>